Hello mom, call Hala Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. It's your brother will making a video to feed the sheep, to edify the lambs. Shalom mom, to the Akim and Akwatim that are going to be watching this video. Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, Baruch Hatham. Call Hala Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. And I'm going to play a little bit of this video. But uh, I also want to show the comments, but this is just to simply show that the nations are beginning to wake up to see how the Edomites are truly the devil that the Bible speaks of. And these these are the wicked. These people are the hypocrites of the scriptures, all right? So let me see. All right, let's jump into it. So you see, you see, uh, see how these uh, taskmasters be be moving in Babylon here. But the the comments, right? People are seeing the hypocrisy of, of the of the police, which are mostly full of Edomites, right? It says, um, uh, this girl says, why don't we? Uh, why don't was arrested of that way? The armed in Mich Michigan there because the Edomites are out there in Michigan protesting right now in California they're all out there protesting right um you got them some places I believe in New York they're protesting and where else are they protesting in the states Texas they're protesting right so all these states are protesting but you don't see the these cops going up against the the Edomites with guns in their hands and 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 not um not uh obeying the social distancing orders so it clearly goes to show you that these guys these guys have a, a bias towards um towards their people and have a bias against the black Hispanic, and native indian man who are the children of israel right esau doesn't have a problem um killing you negroes and latinos right but for an edomite to go and kill kill his own uh people it's going to take a lot more work Right, um, the Esau Esau said America is a Christian nation, and that you're supposed to be kind to your neighbor. But they, but people are seeing that these guys are not kind to to any other neighbors. Which Esau likes to say, your neighbor is every nation or people that you live next to. Which which we know that your neighbor that law was given to the Israelites, and Israelites were only living amongst Is other Israelites, anyway. So they're literally talking when that was talking. Allah was given to the Israelites. Your neighbor literally meant your your people, right? But anyways, right? So look at this next one. It says, and yet they aren't arresting any white protesters. Good job, America. Right? It says, um, welcome to the true face of America. This is just a start. <laughs> 
This guy said more like resisting assault. <laughs> Yo, okay, it says, where was this energy when the Trump supporters were out with guns? Right? Cops should be charged and use that energy on the violent anti-lockdown protesters. Right, Jake is just minding their business. Not do, you don't see you don't see um Chinese, the uh, um East Indians, um Arabs, Negroes and Latinos out there protesting the lockdown orders. Everyone, all the other nations are minding their business. You Esau is tripping out and out there with guns in their hands. Spewing, spewing hatred towards their own, to their to their own people, saying they want they they need to open up these lockdowns or up in the the, the buildings and stuff where their governors are. You don't see uh, the other nation do that, but here it is. They Esau going out of his way to bother Jake, right? Is look at this. Another woman says, "I love how we've seen all this footage of protesters with guns and storming government buildings." And then this happens, of course, their black racism is just undeniably right in front of us. Because this time, now you see, back in the day, Jake was Jake would be saying, "Nah, man, yo, these these white people are racist, man. That's that's why they be firing us, man." Giving Jake's giving all these excuses, which are not excuses or reasons, uh, valid reasons, but but people wouldn't believe Jake. Now people are actually seeing that Esau is just a biased hypocrite, man. We there's just that's just plenty of comments, man. Right. Right. Another person says, "This is what needs to happen to those Trump Trump pansies protesting." Uh, why don't police? Why don't? Why don't do these same act to Trump protesters who carrying a sorry? <laughs> sorry, I'm just reading them exactly the way they're read, but. You see, even people are seeing that they're like, "Yo, wait, wait, wait!" There's, there's Edomites, there's white people going around violently protesting, ready to, ready to start a war with anybody, all their, the police and the government officials, if they, they even step up against them. Now here it is, Jake's minding their own business, not bothering nobody. They're up in Jake's neighborhood and, and they're going around violently arresting people. Well, these people, the, the, the majority of the people don't know who the children of Israel are. So, so we'll, we'll get them, man. We'll get we'll get the precepts, right? This ain't nothing new. It's in Lamentations four verse eighteen. It says, "They hunt our steps, that we cannot go in our streets. Our end is near. Our days are fulfilled, for our end is come." Right, Jake, Jake, Jake. You're not even safe going walking too late at night. Sometimes Esau might. Esau might um assume that you got a weapon on you. He's gonna assume that you look you fit a description, he's gonna check you. All of a sudden, he thinks he got a weapon on you, and then you, you end up getting shot put shot to death. Or or he 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 um he he arrests he arrests you, says you're resisting, starts beating you up, starts calling for backup, and all of a sudden you got like five, ten cops beating you up just to put you in the back of a police cruiser. You know how easy it is for these Edomites to make excuses or when Jake gets pulled over. Right, oh, uh, and you're gonna see your your driver's registration, your driver's registration's license, and ID and all that stuff. And Jake goes to reach for it. And he's pulling out a gun. Esau starts shooting at him, man. Right, verse 19 it says, "Our persecutors are swifter than the eagles of the heaven. They pursued us upon the mountains. They laid wait for us in the wilderness." So you you, you can't these these Jakes were probably just they thought they were gonna have another normal day out in the streets. And here comes Esau just just disrupting the wall. There you got all these protesters protesting going on throughout the states of America, and you don't see nothing happening to them. You, well, for the people who don't know, the Black and Hispanics, Native Indians are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of, and the Mosai, and we're in captivity, and this is what we're subject to, man. This is what we're subject to over here. You get another account of it in Exodus. There's nothing new under the sun. The taskmaster is always just beating on on the slaves, man. Uh, this is Moses. He's seen the the Egyptians smiting the Hebrew. Okay, it says uh, all right. It says, and this is what people are sitting around seeing. They don't. You don't see the police doing that to Chinese or or East Indians. You don't, or or Africans. You only see them doing it to Negroes and Latinos and Native Indians. So this is Exodus 2 and 11, and it came to pass in those days when Moses was grown, that he went out unto his brethren and looked on their burdens, 
and he spied an Egyptian smiting a Hebrew, one of his brethren. So there's Moses seeing the same thing today, man. The, 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 um, the, the, this is modern day Egypt, man. Uh, America has uh, different different surnames in the Bible. You got Sodom, you got Egypt, you got the virgin daughter Babylon, you got Babylon, right? This is that same place. And the taskmasters, which are the Egyptians today, they're the Edomites, the so-called white man, are smiting the Hebrews, the Israelites. Everyone, but this time everyone's there just watching it. It's it there for everyone to see. Okay. So it's saying it's they saying nothing new, but we we we're under the the rage, the wrath of the Most High, which the two thirds are mainly going to catch. The two thirds are mainly going to catch this wrath. That is Leviticus 26, right? And um, uh, let me get um, verse, let me get 26 and 33, right? So it says. I will scatter you among the heathen and will draw the sword after you and your land shall be desolate and your cities waste. Right, which now there, there's other nations inhabiting the land of Israel. But back in, back in the days, right, when the Babylonians first came, Israelites were scattered in Babylon. Some flee to Egypt and other, other, other countries. Right, same thing happened with every other captivity. Israelites flee to other countries in different lands. And in those different lands they went to, they get oppressed. And so he said, you, when you're scattered among the heathen, there's going to be a, you're not, so you're not even just going to get to rest when you're 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 uh, in um, amongst the other nations. You get you're going to be getting killed once you're amongst the other nations. All right, but to get back on on Esau, your people are starting to see. Is it thirty four and six? No, 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 it's not. Let me get it. Okay, it says, for that vile person will speak villain, villainy and his heart will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy. Right, that is that vile person in this in this end time context, in the main board of wickedness, when you read the book of Malachi, it's Esau, Edom, right? Esau is known as the vilest, the basest, the lowest nation on the earth, the so-called white man. Right, it says that for the vile person will speak villainy, he speaks evil of the black and Hispanic man. Right, till this day, that Kobe got off on his charges for alleged rape and all that stuff, and all these Edomites trying to bring it up like the the like the man the man was the worst person on the earth. When you got mans like Epstein and uh, and um, what's his name, that guy who'd run for president, uh, Joe Biden. Getting, and then you got Hillary Clinton and her husband. The, all these, all these Edomites to get caught on, on um these big rings of having to do with pedophilia and and sexual offenses. They they get off scot free like, like it's nobody's business, right? They hold the Bible up and they, they swear on the Bible. They hold it up in their hands, say you love love your neighbor as yourself. But they don't. They, you don't see these white people loving your neighbor as their, as themselves. They they'll 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 be nice to their own people, but not every other nation. Right, so it says they to practice hypocrisy and to utter error against the, the Most High Yahweh. And don't they do they not utter error against the Most High? They say the Most High, the, the Most High says you you a man can't be with a man. Esau says yes, a man can be with a man. Right, the Most High says you're not supposed to abort babies out the mother's womb. Esau says yeah, it's a, it's okay, you can do that. They 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 say the Most High doesn't know what he's talking about. Okay, to make empty the soul of the hungry. Right, see these Edomites right now. They're they're throwing out plenty of food, right? Um, they're killing a lot of a lot of animals. Why to try and balance out the the economy? So they're wasting food. They're not feeding the hungry. They're not feeding the poor. It cause the drink of the thirsty to fail. That's that's the society in a nutshell. Okay. So I'm gonna finish out on Isaiah 47. All right? You see them comments on them videos, man. And people are starting to see. So Isa, oh yeah, I'll get I'll get one more, two more. Isaiah forty-seven. It says, "Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate." 
Right, speaking of the virgin daughter of Babylon, not the ancient Babylon. Right, take the millstones and grind meal, uncover thy locks, make bare the lake, uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Right, nakedness um, in this context being being your sin, the, the things that they they've been covering, and it's the easiest way for people to see the nakedness of America is to go on to the internet. They have internet, and people can you can get the news of what's going on in China. You get you can see you can see the news of what's going on in Europe. See, back in the day, in the ancient world, you weren't able to just know what was happening in people's cities like that. Right, but now you everyone can see what's going on in any country at any time. Okay. Yeah, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. Okay, and the Most High is getting ready to to take vengeance on on this on this whole kingdom, and he's not meeting him as a man. He's sending his son with his chariots, and the and the, and the and the the whirlwinds, and the clouds of heaven, right? And he's he's gonna wage war on Esau and all the other nations. Okay, um. Let me get that revelation. But as you can see, Esau's not doing this to his people, man. He's only doing this to the Negroes, Latinos, Native Indians. Here it is, his people are all up in his face with guns and all that stuff, threatening them. Jake minding his own business. Esau's going, coming down on Jake. Why? This is Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So the Esau, these Edomites in their spirit, they know, subconsciously they know that their kingdoms, his kingdoms coming to an end. They know it's almost up, right? And the and the and the biggest, the one of the biggest factors of, of them knowing that 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 it's up is is us is, uh, is us waking up in these last days, right? The children of Israel remembering themselves. Let's get that in Baruch. Uh, close on that, right? Baruch 2 and 30. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff necked people, but in the land of their captivities they shall remember themselves. So now, here in the lands of our captivity, we're remembering ourselves that we're God's chosen people, we're the Israelites, and we're coming on, we go on the highways and the byways to bid the rest of the people to the marriage and let the other Israelites remember who they are. All right? So, with that, I want to say, Hope y'all are edified and shalom.